Hey everyone, Astronaut Boy here. And today, I want to discuss something that came up a couple days ago, as you see here. Uh, this was reported by Sankaku Complex, which uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can actually see the little article they did. Uh, but Japanese feminist outraged by Mei Kotsu bus company character. And one person called it porn, which... Oh my goodness, that is such a laugh. Anyway, this was the original post. Um, oh, correction, this is not real. This is the original post from May Kotsu Bus Company, talking about their 80th anniversary, and they created just uh, a character. Now, as I understand, they created a male character and a female character here, <laughs> which is uh, no big deal. Uh, you'll see this in a lot of games, like the Fate Grand Order. There's a male and female character. Fate Extella Link. There's a male and female character. So, um, you know, sometimes that's that's how I interpret it. If I'm wrong in this aspect, let me know. But I think that's what it is. But anyway, the outrage is in in this character there right here, the female character. They're unnamed, and they're actually looking for names uh, for the characters. And if we look down here, this thing got 13.8 million views. 19, uh, oh, this actually came out on the 26th. Um, it took a while to filter out to uh, the rest of the world. 19,000 likes, 9.6 thousand retweets. But, public bus company Meikotsu unexpectedly found itself the target of threats and angry messages from outraged, I'm going to say Japanese feminists because that's what it was, uh, who didn't like the design of a newly introduced female character. And, of course, here's they're talking about the deal. And then this is uh, the character stats. And it's pretty much, if you're into anime, you've seen these kind of things come out before, games where they'll do character stat sheets and show you, you know, just a few images of them. Meikotsu was recently revealed two official characters as part of the bus company's 80th anniversary. Company shared company designs, uh, character designs, while asking for help coming up with the names like I <clears> had <throat> previously mentioned. However, it didn't take long for a mob of angry feminists to flame post on Twitter, X, mainly about the female character's design. Now, these are translated tweets, and they have some of them listed. Um... That's the worst. I'm going to vomit. I didn't know that Mei Kotsu was full of misogynist Showa geezers. Now, what is Showa? So the Showa period was from, I think, 29 uh, to 1989. <clears throat> so basically, they're just calling them old-fashioned, uh, whatever, out of touch. Another person said this is porn. Mei Kotsu is doing this knowingly. They're the worst. Another person says, only girl... The only the girl is like around, uh, like that around the waist for no reason and forcibly smiling. I had enough. Of course, they would make the female character younger. This makes me sick. Leave that back in Showa. And then another one says, You can name her inner leg touching girl for all I care. <laughs> oh man, these people. Now, if you look at the character design, I mean, there's really, I, I don't see what the issue is. Except, now, we've seen this in the West, uh, where female characters are made plain or ugly because attractive characters are somehow a threat. And so, apparently, one of the problems is, is that she's, you know, shorter than the male character, She's got this curvy waist, which some girls have this. She looks like she's smiling, happy, whatever. <clears throat> and, you know, it's just a typical anime design. There's nothing uh, that special about it. So I, it's kind of puzzling to me that they are getting so outraged, except that if you've seen the trend out west, uh, that's infecting Japan. So uh, you got to be warned, guys. And, and ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, some feminists were so outraged they began mass emailing their complaints to the Mei Kotsu group, then made their profiles private after getting called out in public. Uh, another user mentioned the situation as reminiscent of the time the, the, the police tried to promote a VTuber for PR purposes 
and got flamed by feminists, the police eventually dropped the VTuber PR, and the police and the feminists celebrated and boasted our opinions went through. Take that. So, uh, one of the uh, this Japanese guy posted that um, that originally the OG feminist said, "What's wrong with exposing your skin? It's okay to wear a miniskirt and show your thighs. That's not slutty." And, you know, here's a picture of them in Japan protesting, <clears throat> you know, their uh, desires to wear, you know, mini skirts and stuff. And then today, the line has changed. Your skin is exposed. Even if you're wearing pants, you can see a body line and it's obscene. So it's no good. This is slutty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is nuts. Uh, but anyway, yeah. And what I don't, well, I say, I keep saying I don't understand what I do. It's just, it's, you know, it's become a religion. This, you know, once upon a time. Now, even even in, in when I was a teenager, so-called right-wing Christian conservatives would not have protested about this. Uh, they might have protested about, um, like, say, Kasumi slash Misty from Pokemon. And the reason for that is, you know, she's underage, clearly, wearing short shorts and a uh, uh, cut off a halter top uh, tank top and clearly designed. <laughs> well, I'm sure if I look, you can find all kinds of ugly things regarding her. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I do know someone who called this pornographic. And, you know, back in the day, I disagreed. I just thought, yeah, it's just some little girl wearing, you know, an outfit that may not be appropriate, but, uh, you know, I'm not watching Pokemon, so what do I care? But anyway, I don't see how, you know, this, this female character from Mei Kotsu Bus Company could be considered in the same light. I mean, she's fully clothed, like that one poster was saying, and, you know, she's just, just a... Stereotypical, cheerful anime type girl. So, not sure really what's going on there. But that aside, one of the other controversies going on about this is that someone, uh, and I couldn't find it real quick, so I apologize, but uh, someone did a fix, quote unquote, of the uh, images for the character. And that, that continued the controversy. My Twitter uh, for a while there was. Uh, quite full of uh, people complaining about that. Uh, how dare you change the original artist's work without their permission? So but that's another thing that's going on. So anyway, uh, if you thought because uh, manga and anime stories uh, are not quote-unquote woke and that um, Japan doesn't care about these kind of things, you know, don't don't fool yourself. Uh, there's been a push in Japan for a long time uh, to uh, uh, not only to westernize uh, anime stuff in Japan, but to, you know, really make it pretty much bland. And uh, there's that movement in Japan to do this, not just from the West. It's also in Japan. So just thought I would let you guys know. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe and all that stuff. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.